Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the 13th Monday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of his redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Mark, the 11th chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. On the following day, when they came from Bethany, he was hungry. Seeing in the distance a fig tree in leaf, he went to see whether perhaps he could find anything on it. When he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. He said to it, May no one ever eat fruit from you again. And his disciples heard it. Then they came to Jerusalem, and he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations? But you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and the scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill him, for they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by his teaching. And when evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. In the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree withered to its roots. Then Peter remembered and said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree that you cursed has withered. Jesus answered them, Have faith in God. Truly I tell you, if you say to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, and if you do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will come to pass, it will be done for you. So I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. Here ends the lesson. Our lesson today may, on the surface, seem like Jesus is upset about the commerce that went on in the gates of the temple. Only unblemished animals were acceptable for sacrifice. Many people traveled long distances to Jerusalem to offer a sacrifice in the temple. If people tried to bring an unblemished animal from home, it might be attacked or injured on the way and be unacceptable. People traveled from all around to the temple, and there were numerous types of coins. The annual half-shekel temple tax had to be paid in Tyranian silver shekels. The Tyranian coins were of good silver and true weight. So while the merchants performed a necessary service, it didn't have to occur on the temple proper. I have no doubt that this angered Jesus, but this lesson goes deeper than Jesus' anger over commercialization of the temple. Notice that this story is sandwiched by the fig story, which holds a significant meaning to the passage. Jesus is using the fig story as an analogy for what is going to happen to Israel and thereby the temple. Just as there was no fruit on the fig tree at the beginning of the lesson, the house of Israel symbolized by the temple was not bearing fruit for the kingdom of God. For Jesus... Rather than living according to God's intention that Israel be a light to the whole world, Israel had lost its way. 
Instead of being a beacon of God's light that brought the nations of the world into relationship with the one true God, the leaders, and thus the use of the temple, had become corrupted to the point that they no longer were being faithful to the call and will of God. Jesus said of them in the Gospel of Matthew that the Jewish leaders sit on the seat of Moses and teach what Moses taught, but they were hypocrites in their actions. He said, They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others, but they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogue and to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have people call them rabbi. Just as the disciples saw the fig tree withered away to its roots, the temple would be totally destroyed in 70 A.D. Let us pray. O oh God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers, and because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, give us the help of your grace, that in keeping your commandments we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. Beginning September 5th, we are adding an 8 a.m. right to service, and we are moving our 9 a.m. service to 9.30. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all our offerings. Thank you.